I think given that since we are a pro team and the financial burdens aren't so bad, when you lose a paintball event in Division 4, it's like, dang, I lost and look at all this money I'm losing. Like, you're just, you're like, you open your wallet and you're just like handing all this money out and like this guy is taking it. And it's just really, like, it's almost like losing at Monopoly. Like, it's really sad. It's a really morbid thing. But when you play at the pro level and it's a lot cheaper and there's not as much financial costs associated with it, when you lose, it's like, it's a, it's a driving factor. Like when you lose, you want to come back to the next event and tear people up. Second event of the season, uh, since the first event went so well, we assumed coming into Chicago would ju go just as well. We thought, you know, we're in the mix of things. Let's, let's just do it at this event. And we just got rolled. So it was kind of a wake up call thinking maybe that first event was just a little beginner's luck or something like that. You know what I like to see? Look at Clint Johnson, rest of his boys over there for Texas Storm. The, you can look at the intensity in their body language. That is a team that's not mentally beat yet. And that's what you want to see. If you're a Texas Storm fan, you want to see that, that mental intensity and look at that. You can see they really want this. They want these points. As fortunately though, Texas Storm losing their front guy. Uh, oh, how, on your screen, a major oh, penalty. Major penalty. Being thrown. And, and honestly, was that excess? at, at what, excessive what? shooting. I, I'm on excessive. On exce ex yeah, excessive shooting on excessive. I, you saw it on your screen. I'm sure we're going to get a replay. That was number 91, major penalty on Jerry D'Amato, running down the last Texas Storm guy and putting it on him. Yeah, it, there, it, there's it, no reason for that. There, there, there is no reason for that. He's playing good. They're getting ready to take it to We got smothered. Um, we played really poorly, not because of the other teams playing well either, because we got a abundant amount of penalties. Um, we got at least three major penalties in every single match. I have no clue why we get so many, so many penalties, honestly. And I guess that, that probably comes with experience, just understanding that these refs are pretty good. I don't think anybody ever thought that we didn't belong. I think that they thought that we were just a struggling team. And I think that's what we thought too. But at the same time, just like at the start of the season, we knew that we were capable of playing like great paintball, so. Ask me how many penalties I got at Chicago. Zero. Goose egg. Right before PSP Riverside, West Coast Open, we picked up Justin L.J. Schwartz's, who is a straight killer from the Iron Men. So we knew he was going to be sick. We also picked up Dusty and Devin O'Dell, who are some brothers from uh, Texas area, who have also been playing pro forever. Devin just looks great all the time, great hair. Also plays really good paintball. And we just had a quote-unquote stacked lineup. We picked up Ashton Johnson, who was a straight killer last year for X Factor. And so we just thought, honestly, we thought going into Riverside, it was going to be a piece of cake. With all these killers, uh, like, what else were we going to do? We had a practice against Top Gun right before Riverside, which is what we usually do. We fly in a day early and practice against another pro team. Uh, we know Top Gun's a great team, so it's, all, it's usually one of our common options to practice against. We killed them in practice. It was what we had hoped for, honestly. It seemed like the team was really gelling. It seemed like all the game plans that we had thought of were perfect, and we just destroyed them. It wasn't, it didn't seem like it was even, I was pumped. I, I thought the next morning I was gonna wake up and kill it. This big move here up the center by Justin Swartz for Texas Storm. He's been all over the place. He's been on the snake side, also up in the center. He's a very versatile guy. And here comes the Jester Slaughters. <laughs> Justin Swartz in the back. Almost takes the center bunker down in the process, and then Dusty O'Dell is going to trade out with him. Whoa, nice. Dusty O'Dell, beautiful through the center. Handle biz out yeah, there. Texas so. Storm, look, after a terrible day yesterday where they went 0-2, come out here and get it right back against the New Jersey Jesters, so they still got a game left to play. The biggest problem with PSP West Coast Open is since the team 
was made up of so many people that didn't, I'm not gonna say it was because we had too many all-stars or anything like that. Since the team was so newly formed and since the relationships off the field weren't as ripe, one could say, we didn't gel on the field during match time. Because in a match at a, at a pro tournament, there is so many people screaming, so many different feelings that you get that you don't ever get during practice that if you're not best friends with the four dudes that are sitting in the bunkers around you, there is no way you're gonna be able to communicate with them. There is no way that you're gonna be able to kill people together as a team, which is what pro paintball is all about. And that was completely shown through in PSP Riverside. Guys, worry about me. That's ugly. Your head's up, uh, uh, Delta. No, you're Delta. Practice doesn't always translate to matches. Get up, get up. Let's move on. Hey, hey, listen to me. The first match is over. Don't say another word about it unless it's constructive. Leave the negative bull it down together, let's man. move on every single time we everybody was playing fine at riverside but we weren't playing together I played a lot. That was the cool thing. I played good at Chicago. Dang good. I did the same thing every point. It was awesome. I just went to the corner shooting and screaming. <laughs> we had to play the Russians at Chicago. That was crazy.